this is specifically the DCL050. If you guys are interested at, uh, in this product, I'm going to have a link to it in the description of this video. The stores don't always carry this specific one. They carry the cheaper uh, lights, usually. This is one of the better ones from DeWalt. So this handheld light uses regular DeWalt batteries. The 20 volt max batteries they're compatible with. Uh, any 20 volt battery that DeWalt produces will work on this. And here's an example. Here's my driver and it's got the battery that came with it. This is just a two amp battery. It doesn't have as much capacity as like a four amp or more, but it'll definitely work with this. It just might not last as long. Uh, this is fully charged battery, as you can see. And so it should be good. Let's hook it up. What I like about this is that once you put the battery in, uh, there's a lot more weight on the bottom and it stays up. Doesn't matter how you place it, it'll stay up. What I like about this light is you can swivel it 140 degrees all the way around. So it's meant to be placed somewhere where you're going to work and just point it to the direction that you need the light, basically. Another way you can use this light is by hanging it. It has this metal hook or loop, really, over here. One thing I noticed when I opened this is that there's a heat sink inside. Because these are actually pretty powerful LEDs inside and they generate quite a lot of heat. And so it, it's really helpful that there's a heat sink in there to dissipate all that heat that's going to generate. That's just going to help protect the light and, you know, it won't overheat or anything like that. So once the battery is in, this light actually has two, the, two different modes. When you first turn it on, it uses 1000 lumens or it outputs 1000 lumens. And here it is. And when you press it one more time, it goes down to about 300 lumens. So that if you need, if you don't need that much light, you can use it at 300 lumens and it won't waste your battery so quickly. Of course, the third click turns it off. 